Hey Doomers, happy 420. Today we got graced with the quest and vision of Starship imploding right before our eyes. Humanity's last, best hope of leaving this planet in a ball of flames in a rapidly unscheduled disassembly. Is that right? That's where we're going to coin it. Meanwhile, on Earth, oxide levels within the atmosphere, specifically, have never been higher. We get this here from Mauna Loa readings, 424 parts per million. The Great Acceleration has begun. Indeed, my friend told me today. So let's get to the health, Let's because Earth Day is coming up. So, you know, this is a rapid-fire news roundup. Things you should know. We discovered forever chemicals and fast food packaging. These things... PFAs per polyfluoral alkyl substances are a group of synthetic chemicals used in a variety of products due to their water and oil resistant properties. They're found in nonstick cookware, waterproof clothing, and firefighting foams. They persist in the environment for a long time, including in given people cancer, thyroid disorders, and developmental issues. They've been detected all over the planet, including the Himalayas. What a mess. What do we do? We get greenwashed. Ahead of Earth Day, every year, more bullshit. You can smell it. Apple wants to make its devices carbon neutral. They want to use, use more recycled cobalt in its devices, because if it's recycled, it's okay. Massive recycling warehouse fire is a stark reminder. Plastics are a pollution nightmare, which get spun up in the air, <clears throat> carried miles away. As Chipotle plans to ditch gas drill grills at 100 new locations. And it won't solve our problems. Nope. Because the world could face record temperatures in 2023 as El Nino returns. The world could breach a new average temperature record by 2023-2024. I already did a whole video. Videos on this. You know. The acceleration faster than expected. From the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, Climate Impacts Trigger Tipping Points in Earth's System. This was written yesterday. Very well written article outlining uh, the hothouse paper that Stefan and his colleagues explored potential for self-reinforcing feedbacks. And that we have already introduced self-reinforcing feedback loops and the change may abrupt, be abrupt or non-linear. Linear, characterized by sudden change rather than smooth progress and irreversible on relevant time frames. Okay? Okay. You guys can read this, but you know it already. Thousand of you little miracles. Sea surface temperatures soar to highest in recorded history. Another fun news here. On April 5th, it got hot. Okay? Look at this. The great acceleration has begun. It's okay. Maybe we don't need our food supply from the ocean, or just marine life in general. Maybe we don't need it, because we are the apex predator. This is what Americans really think about climate change from electric. Nearly 7 in 10 want the U.S. to take steps to reach net zero, because they're clueless morons. And 58% feel their state elected officials aren't doing enough. Over around 50% think they're personally doing enough to reduce the effects of climate change. Except no one's doing a damn thing. More than half Americans, 54%. Not everybody, okay, not everybody, not the Trumpers, acknowledge climate change is a major threat to the country's well-being. Nearly 8 in 10 acknowledge that it's a major threat, but only 23% of repubs acknowledge the same. Hmm. What a disaster. Methane not, may not warm the Earth quite as much as previously thought. The gas absorbs both long-wave and short-wave radiation with competing effects on climate. You guys knew this, but it heats the Earth's atmosphere 28 times as potently as carbon dioxide gram for gram, but its absorption, absorption of the sun's radiation high in the atmosphere also alters cloud patterns, causing a bit of shadow on its warming effects. So they predict that it may be because of a thermal energy in the atmosphere... Uh, so adding more, it won't, it, uh, methane solar absorption sets off a cascade of events that reduce its overall warming by about 30%. So not quite as bad, but still pretty bad. 
published in March 16th in Nature Geoscience at just how bad devastating melt of Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets found devastating, published 14 hours ago. They're losing more ice three times as much a year as they were 30 years ago. All right, using 50 different satellite measurements. We can actually see it with our own eyes. We are taking pictures of it. The Greenland melt has gone to hyperdrive in the last few years. The great acceleration, faster than expected. From 2017 to 2020 was 20% more a year than the beginning of the decade and more than seven times higher than the shrinkage by the early 90s. They're pretty disastrous, really. We're losing more and more ice from Greenland, which is going to screw up the North Atlantic and the... Marine life, like whales, can have to find new places to get their krill and habitat. So they're washing up dead in Maine. And this is a devastating trajectory. These rates of ice loss are unprecedented during modern civilization. That's just one of the many knockoff effects, not to mention completely collapsing the AMOC. I anticipate all of this will come to a head by the end of this decade. I'm not sure what this is. Don't ask me. Some kind of space video? I don't know. My internet's slow when I'm recording. A team of more than 65 scientists regularly calculates ice. Oh, it's showing ice loss. Yep. Pretty bad. We're on the upper trajectory, guys. Let's see here. Ice sheets contribute to global sea level. Oh, I guess these are inches. Yep, there's the doom. Yeah, we're on upper, guys. We're not making any progress. But it's okay, Bud Light uh, wants to be, you know, you know, neutral and stuff now because it became a microcosm of America with the great De Bud Light debacle because the transgender social media influencer Dylan Mulvaney radically charged beer sales and stock prices literally overnight after a conservative backlash spread bar to bar. Well, damn. I guess these are our concerns. This captures inflamed politics around transgender rights. Okay? Okay. It's okay. We developed carbon-negative concrete. A viable formula for carbon-negative. Can you believe that? Is that a word? Environmentally friendly concrete that is nearly as strong as regular concrete has been developed at Washington State University. Proof of work concept. Proof of concept work. Biochar. They're using biochar. Type of charcoal made from organic waste. And it was able to suck 23% of its carbon dioxide, weight and carbon dioxide from the air while still retaining strength. This will contribute to the mission of zero environment. More than 4 billion tons of concrete are poured every year. That's 8% of total emissions. Did you know India is just reaching the most populated place on the planet? More people in India than China. All farting, sniffling, crying, lying, and eating at the same time. While we want to dump, we should dump, okay? This is what we're going to do. We're going to dump iron nanoparticles into the ocean to save. They may have to make ocean fertilizer work, right? So this isn't going to mess with the food chain at all. Yeah, you guys can read this nonsense, but basically they poured a bunch of iron into the ocean and it increased rates of phytoplankton produced in response to addition of iron. Okay. And we've been conducting these experiments and just adding iron to Iron to the ocean hasn't demonstrated as a good plan for storing atmospheric carbon. What counts is the carbon that reaches the deep sea, and a lot of the carbon tied up in a plankton blooms not sink very fast, appears not to sink very fast or very far. Oops. Okay, more work on that. At least we got our brain scan a little sharper. Apparently, we've updated our brain scans. Usually, we use MRIs, but MRI is good enough resolution to spot a brain tumor. It needs to be a lot sharper. So... Decades-long technical tour de force led by Duke Center for Vivo Microscopy, Microscopy with colleagues at the University of Tennessee took up the gauntlet and proved MRI is the sharpest images ever captured of a mouse brain. So coinciding with the 50th anniversary of the MRI, 
uh, we can now get a single voxel of new images. Think of it as a cubic pixel, just measures just five microns. That's 64 million times smaller than a clinical MRI voxel. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to understand this, but basically we just got a lot sharper, okay? Pretty wild. And your money doesn't go far. Six out of 10 Americans apparently are living paycheck to paycheck. Meanwhile, if you still make $100,000 like this young woman in, I'm assuming, LA, yeah. She got her first job, $100,000. 30-year-old now spends the early years of her career working in nonprofits, like making less than that. And then she made this now. And then she says she takes a home around this each paycheck, $2,500, enough to cover her bills in San Francisco. Well, there you go. But the material, I feel differently than when I made 70000 but somehow you just sort of settle in and it becomes normal. Yep, after 70 something, $72,000, your life doesn't change that much. With Within the first two months, I was like, wait, I thought there'd be a huge pile of money in my account. And basically, she's paying in her stupid 401k, which she'll never be able to cash out because she's just a brainwashed, um, you know, young woman. Um, it's no longer enough to feel financially secure in many parts of the country and not even enough to build a house. The standard has shifted. Okay? It doesn't go far. In 2000, you could probably live very comfortably once you hit six figures. Now, it doesn't go far as far as it should because you're living in uh, hugely expensive areas. And one million was a savings target. Now it's much higher. Or just how about my retirement plan is probably the collapse of civilization because that in all likelihood looks like what we're on if we just take one second to take stock of the scientific papers that I quickly, briefly ran through on this page and this publish. Don't look up. Just don't even look. Just keep your eyes closed down at the phone. Don't even look up. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed your update. Remember, take each moment for what it is. This is what you were doing before our civilization crumbled. Love you, Doomers. Talk to you later. See ya.